All right, there are two steps we need to do before we complete this structured content section of the course. We need to manage the display of our field so everything's showing up correctly. And then, of course, we need to add some content. We won't do that the hard way. We'll do that the easy way with Devel. All right, so I'm over here on Structure, Content Types, and managing the fields for our hotel content type. Once again, we have set up fields with built-in fields, built-in field types that come with Drupal, as well as a contributed field type called Simple Google Maps. And of course, that's the one that's not quite working correctly. If I go back over to my site and click on Hotel Drupal, sure, I have my image, I have my website, my phone number, but the map isn't showing up, and I've got all of these crazy labels that I really don't need. Let's fix that right now. So once again, structure, content types, and this time on hotels, go ahead and manage display. And let's update the display for our content type. We don't need the word hotel picture above the image, so let's change that to hidden. And let's change the image style to a medium picture. We don't need to link it to anything because, of course, we're already in the content item. Click Update. We really don't need a label that says Hotel Website. Go ahead and hide that. Make the hotel phone number inline, and it'll be a phone link. Let's go ahead and hide the label for the map to the hotel because, again, of course, it's obvious that it's going to be a map. And here's where the magic happens. Simple Google Maps takes that plain text field and makes a Google Map from a one-line address. The default is 200 by 200 with a zoom level of 14. Click on the gear. We'll not include the dynamic map. We'll just include a static map. We'll make this 300 by 300. And we'll provide a link to the actual map that says View Larger Map. Go ahead and click Update. And for the landmarks, we'll leave that above with the label, and we'll link it to the reference entity by default. That's going to help. Click Save. Now go ahead and take a look at Content and our Hotel Drupal node. So we've got a little bit of work left to do still, because now the image is floated to the left automatically in this theme. View Larger Map will take us out to Google Maps, and then there's our landmark. If I wanted to make this just a little bit more tidy, I can actually move that image up quite easily. Let's go to Structure, Content Types, Manage the Display for the Hotel, and let's put the picture at the very top. Click Save. Let's see if that works a little bit better. And at least it puts the image to the left of the body and our website, phone number, and map right there. And that actually is right where the hotel is in Darling Harbor, Sydney. We'll do a lot more work with the layout of our fields and the layout of our content in an upcoming video. In the next video, we'll generate a whole bunch of content for our site so that our layouts and displays can make sense.